and Senator Eduardo Giral was mentioned in news related to an alleged coup attempt. According to the information, Senator Jerome from the state of Sierra is suspected of involvement in the attempted coup d'etat to keep then-President Jair Bolsonaro at the head of the executive branch. He, according to news published on the social network, had taken other parliamentarians to speak with General Braga Neto in what was called the Coup HQ, located in a house in Lago Sul, in Brasilia. And to talk about the subject, we go to Portugal with political activist Fernandes Filho. Olá, Fernandes. Como você está vendo a notícia do suposto envolvimento de Girão na tentativa de manter o ex-presidente Jair Bolsonaro no poder? Olá, Estela, it's true. Senator Girão, to date, is the fourth person from Sierra allegedly involved in the attempted coup d'etat to keep then-president Jair Bolsonaro at the head of the executive branch. Look, we may have more surprises there in Sierra. According to the linked news, the senator from Sierra was responsible for taking other parliamentarians such as Deputy Marcelo Van Reyten from Novo de Rio Grande do Sul to speak with General Braga Neto at the HQ, the so-called Coup HQ, located in a house in Lago Sul in Brasilia. Yeah. It is worth remembering that Senator Eduardo Giral was one of the most fervent politicians from Jair Bolsonaro's allied base. And so his defenses in the Senate in the past are contributing greatly to increasing the labeling he is suffering at this moment. We can cite some examples, such as the actions of the CPMI, where Eduardo Giron harshly criticized the government supporters in the CPMI on January 8, accusing them of shielding the Lula government and promoting political persecution of the opposition, which is actually one of the rhetorics of Bolsonarism. He questioned the refusal of Lula's minister, Flavio Dino at the time, now at the Federal Supreme Court, to hand over the images from January 8 to CPMI's NASA, suggesting that this could be an attempt to hide something. Also, let's say he would be reinforcing that ridiculous idea that there were infiltrators in the January 8th movement. His statement against the so-called anti-democratic actions of the powers in a speech in the Senate on August 10, 2021, also greatly reinforces this, let's say, surrender of Eduardo Giron's political image to submission to the image of Jair Bolsonaro. As much as we don't agree with Giron's statements and attitudes, he has the right to his own interpretations on any subject. This is also not, so to speak, a proven practice that Eduardo Giron would be involved in the coup. Now, it is important to remember that all police actions and speeches must be analyzed in the context in which they occurred, something that is generally not done in Brazil. Because if we did that, perhaps an element like Jair Bolsonaro Naro would never become president of the Republic. Just look at his past. The most interesting thing is that insanity seems to still be in the air since Jair Bolsonaro, for me, is a kind of Ramidas in reverse. Insisting on staying by his side is insanity. Dodge. The guy has already ruined everything and everyone he touched, from the fight against corruption to his partners. He is currently being accused of being a snitch for the generals. Now, if the investigations really point out and can prove that that house in Brasilia was a kind of coup HQ, Giron's situation, as well as that of all those who frequented that possible HQ, that house in Brasilia, will become very complicated because they could at the very least be indicted as conspirators. Let's wait and see the scenes from the next chapters. Olhar de mate com notícias Sierra will stop here. Before you go, we ask you to help the channel bring more news. Subscribe, share, and leave your like. See you soon.